Hello everyone. My name is Namita Dimri and I am a student of IV Professional School and today we are going to learn about a very interesting topic in Tableau that is data blending. Data blending is a method where we combine the data from two or more sources where the level of detail is different. Say for example in this table, in table 1 and table 2, as we see the date here is in months and here the date is in years so the level of detailing here is different so we cannot create join between these two tables so here in these kind of cases we go for blending we first convert the month into years and then we further create our left join blending is always a left join so basically we blend the results from multiple data sources in a visualization and Blending is always performed on sheet by sheet basis. So when we bring field from one data source in the view, that is our primary data source. And the next data source taken becomes our secondary data source. The primary data source is indicated with a blue check mark, as you can see here. And the secondary data source is indicated with an orange check mark. In order to combine the data from multiple sources, there must be a common dimension between the data sources. And this common dimension is called the linking field. The active linking field is identified in the data pane for secondary data source with an active link icon. And the potential linking fields are identified with a broken link icon. So if the linking field in the primary and secondary data sources have the same name, Tableau automatically creates the relationship. And if the name is not similar, then we go for edit data relationship, which I will further show you in the example. So as soon as we click the broken link icon in the data pane to make the relationship active, then we are good to go for the visualization. Now we'll understand how to do data blending with an example. And for that, I'm going to take amazing math data set. As you can see here, we have three sheets, list of orders, order breakdown and sales targets. So our aim is to compare the monthly actual sales with the target sales category wise. So first of all, I will join list of orders and order breakdown to get my actual sales figure. As you can see here in Tableau, I have joined list of orders and order breakdown on the basis of order ID since that is the common column. So this is my one table. And now, what is common between the sales target and the table list of orders and order breakdown? As you can see here, we have order date. And, sales and in sales targets, we also have month of order date. So the level of detail is different here, but we have dates here in both the tables. And also category is also common between the sales targets and the table of list of orders and order breakdown. So now we can uh, go ahead with our blending. So now I'll connect with the, my Excel file and I will get the sales target here. So now I'm going to link the category and the order date. So we go here and as you can see here, I have got my two tables here, list of orders and order breakdown in this one and the sales target we have here. So as soon as I click my category in the view, so this becomes my primary data source. And now as we see here, we see here the active link icon on the basis of category since it is common in both the tables. And now for linking the dates, as you can see the level of detail was different. So we go for edit the blend relationship. So I go to data and go to edit blend relationship. So I choose custom since I have to add it. So I go to order date and in order date I choose month. And category here I choose month okay so I've added my relationship here and 
Okay, so now I've created the relationship manually at the same level as you can see. And as soon as I add the relationship, we see here a broken link icon and I click on it and it becomes active. And now we can actually compare the actual sales with the target sales very easily. As you can see here, now I have selected the order date and I have taken it at the level of month and year. And then I have my category wise comparison of target sales versus actual sales. As you can see here, I've taken the sum of sales and sum of target. And if we look at the final product here, I can easily compare my target sales with the actual sales. So this is all about blending guys. Please do share and like the video and subscribe to our channel of Ivy Professional School. Thank you. Thank you.